Uh, also, every Friday, we look at different cultures in Kenya. We call it my culture. Now, the history between the Oman and Kenya dates back to the 17th century when Mombasa, just like many other coastal towns, were ruled by the Sultan of Oman. Now, it is during this time that the Oman established long-distance trade in East Africa, uh, therefore interacting with local communities. Now, this week on My Culture, we focus on uh, other traces of uh, the Omani traditions and culture and the efforts to preserve the same. National Museums of Kenya An initiative aimed at conserving the history and cultural heritage of the Oman East Africa has been launched. The initiative aims at creating awareness about a historic gallery at the museum focusing on the spread of Islam along the East African coast, the emergence of the Swahili people and culture through kinship across centuries impacting all aspects of life and the development of Mombasa and other trade centers in Kenya back to the history where the maritime trade was quite key and uh, they would always come with items sell to the locals and exchange of course there was butter trade during that time and so most of the items that remained here and the cultures that remain here are still living so it is going to be very important for us to really preserve that culture for our future generations in the past Various communities inhabited the East African coast and the hinterland. The communities involved themselves in the trade of goods that were exported to other continents. Kushites were considered the first immigrants into East Africa. Kushites, hunters and gatherers, and Bantus interacted with the Omani traders. We are headed by the National Museums of Kenya in conjunction with the Sultanate of Oman. The exhibition depicts and displays various artifacts, tools including stones and obsidian, traditional regalia, daggers, cutlass, equipment such as coconut milk strainer and a coconut grater, board and bow games, the Holy Book Quran as well as other books, lithographs of key personalities as well as information highlighting various aspects of the Kenya Oman cultural heritage. The of the people uh, in, in the coast have had a lot of influences from the Omani Arab uh, such that you, you find that most of their culture will, will take you to, to Omani. Let's look at the foods that they take, uh, the biryanis, the pilaus, you know, the attire. Most of it has been uh, influenced by the Omani Arabs. The furniture that you have in the houses, uh, the carved uh, doors, several items that you'll find in, an, in, a, in a Swahili house will relate to, to the Omani. Elders say it is paramount to educate the youth and future generations of their heritage. That importance, that uh, urgency of us making sure that they understand what our culture is, and not necessarily their culture of where they come from, but at least the diversity of culture in our cosmopolitan towns. The Giriamas, the Kikuyus, the Taitas, the Mijikenda, you know, that kind of culture that will really uh, work in a society. These even as they held the move and reiterated on the need to establish more historic galleries and exhibition aimed at preserving culture and heritage. It is always good to capture their interests and make sure that we are imparting some knowledge that is all heritage and they'll be interested in it. We are also looking at, looking at, at using technology to be able to uh, develop, like the, the youth can develop some apps that will really be interesting to young kids or growing up uh, uh, generations. Jackie Wimbiru, My Culture.